Now that we've uh, added the insert, edit, and delete functionality for authors and books, we need to clean things up. Now when you look at the uh, edit and uh, delete functionality, these are potentially very, very risky uh, functions for the simple reason that what will happen if a user clicks the edit or delete button when there's no author that's uh, that's been selected? Let's try that. So there's no author selected, but I click the edit button. What happens is a nasty null pointer exception, as you can see at the bottom. Now, this is because there's no safeguard measures that we created in our in our code. In other words, there's no way that we are checking that uh, that an author has indeed been selected before actually uh, allowing the user to click the the edit button. Now, how do we um, how do we safeguard our code? How do we prevent this nasty null pointer exception from taking place? Now, this is where the variable that we created earlier on, the selected author ID variable comes in very, very handy. Let's cancel this run and look at our code. What we need is some sort of mechanism in our code to check that an author or a book have been selected. And if and only if uh, an author or a book have been selected, will our code allow the edit and the delete functions to take place. Now, how do we do this? How do we check that there's indeed an author or a book that's been selected? That's where these two variables come in, the selected author ID and the selected book ID. Now, what we're going to do is, to begin with, we set these to negative to minus one. All right, and the reason we set this to minus one is because it is impossible that any author or book coming from the database will ever have uh, an ID of minus one. So this is an impossible number. Now we can uh, set our code to check whenever, if ever, these either of these uh, variables is set to minus one, then do not allow edit or delete to take place, and that will prevent the nasty null pointer exceptions from taking place. We can begin by looking at the edit button handler for author. All right, that would be this method, the btn author edit action performed. Now looking at this method, all right, this e method is simply uh, doing what it's told. When you click the edit button, it creates an entity manager factory controller, creates an author and tries to save that author. But we need to put in a safeguard now. And the safeguard we're gonna put in is to check, is the value of uh, selected author ID, which is there, is it negative one? If it's minus one, then don't allow this to take place. So we're going to put in a simple if statement here. If selected author ID is equal to minus one, or rather, let's put it the other way around. If it's not equal to minus one, then allow this uh, entire method to work, else do nothing for the time being. All right, and then we can add inside the else, we can add a little show message dialog. that to now and put in a little warning you must select an author first all right so let's uh, check our code once more if the selected ID is not minus one so if it's anything besides minus one then allow this edit function to take place however if it is minus one then simply set uh, a message dialog box that you must, uh, with a little message there that you must select an author uh, before you attempt to edit anything. Let's run our code and see if it works. All right, first time here, no author selected. Let's click on edit, and there we have it. You must select an author first. Now we can do the same thing for the delete function for author as well as for the edit and delete functions uh, for book.